We'd been talking about doing a short film, getting back together. Uh, I had this new camera and we really wanted to test it out. It had been a while since we'd made something and we wanted to get back together and you know, tell another great story. I was going through a cannibalism phase, uh, not that I was resorting to cannibalism, but it was like a concept, it was like a story idea that I was kind of really intrigued with at the time. The idea of cannibalism, of, of people being uh, forced into cannibalism in order to survive is such a haunting uh, story element and it's just rife with drama. The seeds for the whole story really um, were sown a long time ago when we first came up with the concept for the madness. What is the madness? Adam and David and I conceived of an episodic television show back in 2006 called The Madness. And it's basically an apocalyptic zombie, though I use that word loosely, television series. Uh, filled with conspiracy, horror, uh, and survival. So over the next like couple of weeks or so, um, Stillwell and, and Adam Pittman and I were throwing around ideas about this, like how to put this together, uh, ultimately it being a part of the madness world. But what intrigued me the most about it was that it could be a standalone story. We kind of quickly put together this story, actually, right on, can you see that? Yeah on this notepad, it's all in here. Not all of it, but there's a lot of things. We uh, took to the woods. So the location, Cliff Lake, was super important yeah. to actually the whole genesis uh, of the story for me. Uh, it, it's a place where I grew up and, and I swam it, out in the Montana wilderness uh, as a kid. And it's a lake that no one knows about. Found a bug? Found a beetle. Did you don't get it? I don't know. I got, I got him in the jar. Did you see, you see it? Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Kind of. This yeah. thing is so hard, Adam. That whole focus fucking bullshit when things are happening fast and in and out and in and out. I understand why people go to school for that. Okay, go for it. Okay. Action. I'm gonna break it. Okay. Do I act like I'm falling? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was awesome. Oh my god. I'm actually really surprised that, you know, our AD let the deer just run through our shot like that. I mean, it's just, it's unprofessional. Rude. Well, the deer. Trying to make a fucking film here. They're coming for ya. <laughs> <laughs> That's my radical acting coaching. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got together a group of guys who were our zombie horde. Strip naked, get covered in blood, and run barefoot through the woods. Like, what? <laughs> but they did it, they were so awesome. Um, they weren't naked, they just took their shirts off, some of them. Adam Pittman was naked. He ran naked. He's a trooper. Uh, though we didn't ask him to. So, um, <laughs> all our zombies, who you're not supposed to barely see out in the desert are Walking into gunfire. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually putting them in harm's way. <laughs> Two deer that just ran through are getting shot at just over there. And uh, our zombies are yelling ceasefire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Montana! <laughs>
boom, boom, these gunshots because hunters are out there. There's a ra- range and we're like, OK, I called up the guys. I'm like, hey, guys, we should do the scene because the gunshots are getting closer and I do not want to want the newspaper tomorrow to say hunter shoots deer but it turns out to be naked guy that would be so embarrassing (laughs) why did i run naked hmm <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> I wanted to my zombie to be naked. And I also just wanted to show off my slam and mod. Uh oh. Song of the Dead. Oh Song shit! Song of the Dead. Tell him it's. Hey! Pittman! Pittman! Tell him we're, pre- tell him we're premiering it at, in- at Erie this year. Deal done. Yes. <laughs> I think a through line was uh, 70s films, um, uh, namely Deliverance. You're, you're dead set, man. No, it's it's basically like you started the way you started out there. Think of it like that. Right. And you could consistently, you went towards the camera, right? And got closer. Now you're just kind of staying as far apart as you can, but you're, you're really close there now. You know? And just, you know, don't worry. It's going to look good either way. So just keep, just run. Davey, how you looking? Him? No, I don't see him at all. Hey! I can't see him. Where the fuck is he? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just hate leeches. I'm terrified of leeches. Still was like, no, there's no leeches. I used to swim in this lake when I was a kid. I was about to jump in. I looked down and I saw a leech kind of slither like that through the water. And I was like, oh, I can't do it. I can't jump into this lake. But I did, because I'm tough. Yay! <sighs> I'm okay. <laughs> it's a scrape. Wait, how's your balls? Isn't that where it is on uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, <they're> Stand <laughs> By Me? <laughs> how's that? <sighs> did you get it? He swam across that thing. Or kind of. He swam through it kind of like in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you make a monster. <laughs> oh, pancakes. <laughs> Let it right. go. Yeah. Put your head forward, David, a little bit. Oh, God. This is All right. awesome. <laughs> Let it drip down your nose. Oh, yeah, there you go. Down your nose. God, you are scary as hell. <laughs> All around his mouth. Just smear it. Dude, yeah, put your hand your on your head and smear it across your mouth. Mm. Nice. Mm. Get the black in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes! His neck. Yes. Oh, oh looks so my god. Scary. This is like. It's fucking scary. classic looking. <laughs> you look really, really good. Good. Really good.
Now I think you should run around the dirt. Wow. Okay, don't stop the camera. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <clears throat> Who knows? It was so much fun to get back together with those guys and um, and make something again. I really think that that is what ultimately um, was the real reason that Cliff Lake was born, is so we could get back together and make something. I'm really proud of it. I think it's a great story. Um, and it's absolutely one of the best pieces of work I've been involved with. So that's exciting. Also, if we don't put that magnificent rendition of the Lion King theme song as the closing credits of this, we're crazy. So, pity, hit it.